Um, today I'm going to do a bow tutorial to go with the flower arranging kit, the grab and go kit that you probably picked up at the library. Um, I by no means profess to be a um, professional bow maker. I'm just going to do it the way that my mom has done it for my entire life. Um, the end result is something similar to this. This is on a gift. It's going to look somewhat like this. This is one of my first attempts. I am not super good at it. As you can see, everything's uneven. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through it best that I can. And hopefully you're able to tie a bow after this. <laughs> now, before you get started, um, we're going to need a small section of ribbon to add on to the end of your bow. So in order to secure your bow, you have to have ribbon that kind of ties around the middle. Um, you can use the same. I usually use the same ribbon, but it doesn't have to be. If you want it to look like this, where you have the two edges out, you just take a long section of your ribbon. You'll want to cut that and put it on the side. If you want to have the bow on the front of your floral arrangement with two little strings kind of hanging down, you can use a smaller amount of ribbon to tie your bow together and then you can just add in a piece of ribbon at the bottom to kind of do those. So, and if you are wanting to tie it around your vase or around something else, you will need some floral wire or another piece of ribbon to tie it around. Um, so here we go. Let's start off with our ribbon. This is the ribbon that I'm gonna use because this is what I have on hand. Um, your ribbon, it works best if it's wired on the edges, which um, most of the ribbon in the kit should be wired. So you're gonna start by making a loop. Just one simple loop. Make sure there's enough hanging over the edge that um, so, it, so you can see it because you're gonna need to tie something over that so it'll stay. And after you make your loop, you're gonna make a loop on the edge a little bit wider. Um, on each side. Try to make them as even as possible. Um, as you can tell from my bow earlier, I am not good at that, <laughs> making them even. Um, at this point, you can do as many loops as you want. I usually do about three. Um, I, my, I know that you can do four if you really want to. I usually do three just because it's easier for me um, to handle, especially because this ribbon is so thick. And then you'll just pull this over. Okay, so now that we're at this step, um, most people, I, I've heard that when most people make this bow, they just kind of twist and hold on. My mom actually learned to cheat way a little bit, <laughs> and this is the way she does everything. So you're basically, you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut a little V into the ribbon. My scissors are not the best, so this is gonna take a while. Okay. So you cut a little V on each edge, so it looks like this. It'll be on one side and then the other, all the while holding on, because you don't want to mess this up. And you want it to be each side, you want them to be even with each other. So there's a V right here, so you want the V to be right here. Now, the purpose of this V is to help secure your ribbon. Um, if you've done this before, it is difficult to keep the sides of your bow from slipping out or keeping their shape. So my scissors had some issues with that. So <laughs> the one side is way thicker than the other. So then you're just gonna drop open your ribbon and you're gonna start over. So you're gonna make your loop. And then as you're going to do your first side, you see mine's upside down, you can't see the snowflakes. You are gonna twist right where those two points are that you cut out. And then you'll make your loop. And then you're gonna meet them up together and twist again. So this ensures that the pretty side of your ribbon, I should have said that at the beginning, but the pretty side of your ribbon will always be up. So you're just gonna keep doing that until you run out of ribbon. So you're gonna meet up, twist, meet up, twist. Okay. Okay, so then you should have somewhat of a bow. Now you're gonna take a length of ribbon to secure it. Now, if you are going to put this on the outside of your floral arrangement, um, you can get some floral wire at this point or some ribbon or something that you want to add and you're going to put it, just attach it in here. Just hold it on to this 
so it, it'll go the length you want to cut that and add that on. So then you'll take your ribbon, you'll slide it through the loop, get it as evenly as possible, and you'll just tie a knot. Um, you can single knot it, double knot it, whatever you want to do. And then you can floof up your ribbon and you can trim things like the end of my bow is a little long so I might trim that. So you'll floof up all the parts of your ribbon. And you want to make sure, so my loop came out because I didn't secure it well enough when I tied the bow around. So you want to make sure that's actually secured enough. And then my favorite way to cut the ends, so if you take your ribbon and you fold it in half and you cut down towards the edge of the ribbon, you get this nice little edge. That's my favorite way to tie a bow. So. There you have it, I have an uneven number. Like I said, I'm not a professional bow tire. Obviously my bows are not perfect, but the more you practice, the better you get. Um, I'm a little out of practice, but hopefully you guys are able to take it and make some beautiful bows and add them to your floral arrangements or your Christmas presents or anything and have a wonderful day. See ya.